Bishop McClendon recently reached out to Geno Jennings with a rather surprising challenge. He demanded Jennings to refrain from broadcasting harsh messages about him and other pastors from his church on television. In a bold move, he mentioned that even his presiding bishop, Paul Morton, might not approve of his Truth of God program. Bishop McClendon then extended an invitation for Geno Jennings to have a personal conversation. He hoped this meeting would allow Geno to hear directly from his bishop and perhaps, even consider joining their organization. This unexpected turn of events left Geno Jennings in a state of disbelief. He couldn't help but express his genuine feelings about the situation. In a bold and audacious move, Geno Jennings issued a direct challenge to Bishop Paul Morton and Bishop McClendon, daring them to confront him with the Bible. With unwavering confidence and an unyielding belief in the power of truth, Gino made it clear that he was prepared to expose every falsehoods and inconsistencies in their teachings for the entire world to see. With the weight of conviction in his voice, Gino declared that he would not be swayed by intimidation or coercion. Instead, he welcomed the opportunity to engage in a battle of biblical knowledge, confident that the truth would ultimately prevail. This person says it's from uh, Bishop McClendon. Uh, Pastor Jennings, I would like you to stop talking about preachers on the Word and on, and on TBN. Bishop McClendon is a member of the Full Gospel Baptist Organization in which Paul Morton is our presiding bishop. Mm. I don't think he will be happy about your Truth of God program. Paul Morton. <laughs> we are demanding that you stop preaching harsh words. <laughs> My Lord. We are demanding. De a demand? They are demanding. My Lord. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> They're demanding? They are demanding. Come on. We are demanding that you stop preaching harsh words about our great pastors throughout this country. And our presiding bishop and Bishop McClendon will have a word with you. We would like for you to fellowship with us and become a true holiness preacher. You're not a holiness preacher. No. I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you get McCulling and Morton? Right. Tag team up. That's right. That's it. Let's have a tag team. That's Amen. right. McCullen and Morton. Right, man. And God and I. That's right. We are praying God word. That's right. Amen. Amen. I take the full gospel entire organization. Yes, sir. And I make you lick up every lie you preach. That's right. If you think I'm bluffing, call my bluff. Amen. You believe you don't have to be baptized. Right. Paul Morton denounced the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That proves he's nothing but a sinner in the pulpit. That's all. That's Tell right. Morton, come on. Mm -hmm. You don't find me running. So to demand me to do anything, well, I get my demand and my command from one. That's right. And I have a command that preach the gospel to every creature. That's it. So I tell you what you do. Don't you write me. If Amen. they want to have a word with me, I'm easy to be fine. Amen. Glory to God, I, I cancel a trip anywhere in the world so they can have a word with me face to face. Right. You, I, am believe, I take the word of God by God's help. Not only will I do it to Morton, we'll do it to the world. Geno Jennings' challenge was more than just a call to action. It was a declaration of defiance against the forces of complacency and compromise. In the face of such boldness and determination, Bishop Morton and Bishop McClendon found themselves confronted with a formidable adversary unlike any they had ever encountered before. Geno Jennings is renowned for his boldness in calling out preachers and churches that are straying from the true teachings of the Bible. His uncompromising stance on standing firmly for the Word of God and the unadulterated truth of the Scriptures has garnered him a reputation as a fearless advocate for spiritual purity. Through his Truth of God program, Geno Jennings fearlessly tackles controversial topics and confronts hypocrisy within the church community. He doesn't shy away from addressing uncomfortable truths or challenging the status quo, even if it means facing backlash or opposition from those in positions of authority. With a fiery passion and unwavering conviction, Geno Jennings has become a voice for those who feel disillusioned by the compromises and inconsistencies they see within organized religion. His willingness to speak truth to power has earned him a loyal following of individuals seeking a more authentic and uncompromising approach to their faith. In the face of Bishop McClendon's invitation and the potential for reconciliation, Gino Jennings remains steadfast in his commitment to upholding the integrity of God's words. Gino Jennings embodies fearlessness in the face of opposition, refusing to be intimidated by anyone, regardless of their status or influence. His commitment to preaching the unadulterated truth of the scriptures remains unwavering, even if it means stirring controversy or causing discomfort to those in power. With a resolute spirit and unshakable conviction, 
Gino Jennings boldly confronts hypocrisy and challenges conventional norms within the church community. He understands that speaking truth often comes at a cost, yet he remains undeterred, steadfast in his mission to uphold the integrity of God's Word. Gino Jennings' refusal to compromise on his principles has earned him both admiration and criticism. While some may view his outspokenness as confrontational or divisive, others see it as a refreshing and necessary call to authenticity within a landscape often marred by hypocrisy and complacency. Despite the potential repercussions and the possibility of alienating allies, Gino Jennings remains committed to his calling. He believes that the pursuit of truth is paramount, even if it means risking personal relationships or enduring backlash from those who may feel challenged by his message. In a world where conformity often reigns supreme, Gino Jennings stands as a beacon of unwavering resolve and unyielding integrity. His willingness to speak truth to power serves as an inspiration to countless individuals who seek a deeper, more authentic connection to their faith. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.